a two US dollar cooler. A two US dollar GPU cooler. Yes, my friends, you did not hear me wrongly and I did not read it wrongly. That is exactly how much I paid for this cooler right here from Taobao. Now, why did I buy this heatsink though? Well, it is to replace the stock heatsink on this guy right here. Now, this is a pretty old graphics card. It is the Radeon HD 4870. And this is back in the day when Radeon HD graphics, well, Radeon graphics, were still under ATI as you can see and not AMD. Now, as you can imagine with a card this old, things start to fail unsurprisingly. And this is, uh, well, in this particular card, it is the fan that has just started to fail just a little bit with it being really loud and noisy and the cooler, in my opinion, is just not really that great given that the 4870 is a pretty hot card and this guy only has three heat pipes. This is where this two US dollar heat pipe comes into play. Now, don't look down on this guy because it's so cheap because it theoretically should be better because it has a total of five heat pipes, right? And a brand new fan. The only thing that I'm just a little bit concerned of is the uh, cooling of the memory modules because that was cooled directly by the stock heatsink. But perhaps it's something that we can fix by using uh, these, well I don't have it here with me, small little heatsinks that are attached via double sided thermal tape. So obviously something like this won't be replacing your stonking thick Strix cooler or wind force or anything like that but if you, well but if anything, I see it more suitable for cases like this, you know, like replacing really old stock coolers. Well, not really stock, just really old coolers on the cheap. Anyway, it should be a pretty interesting comparison to see, to see, to see just how much of a difference this cooler makes. So let's get on to installing this onto the card. Cue the montage. So unfortunately, when installing this cooler, I came across the uh, problem of the heatings that I wanted to use being uh, just a little bit too tall to really go underneath there. And because of that, it was causing uh, a bit of clearance issues. As you can see, I've got nothing cooling the uh, RAM now, the well, GDDR RAM. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see if this works. Um, I'm gonna record temperatures on these. I'm gonna record the temperatures on these. And failing that, if that doesn't work, I am probably just going to transplant this fan onto the old cooler. So let's see how it goes. So in order to get the heatsink to fit, I had to remove the card's shroud. And due to clearance issues, I also had to skip on installing the copper heatsinks that I had on the GDDR5 memory modules. I gotta say that I was just a bit worried that they were going to overheat during my 10 minute fur mark run but to my surprise and utter amazement, both the core and memory actually ran cooler. Core temperatures saw an improvement of 8 celsius while temperatures on the memory also improved by 4 celsius and that is actually pretty impressive given that the memory is now passively cooled. I think this is probably due to the original heatsink being unable to dissipate the heat from the core fast enough, and since they're connected, the heat transfers itself and in turn also ends up heating up the memory, which ironically, if you think about it, is kinda counterproductive to the purpose of a heatsink also having direct contact with the memory. Noise levels definitely saw an improvement as well as the GPU is now way cooler versus the original cooler which is a bit of a surprise since the original cooler ran at about 2200 RPM on load and this guy runs at about 3200 RPMs on load. Have a listen.
And so to wrap things up, the 4870 that I am modding is now running not only a lot colder than before, but a lot quieter as well. Now, to be clear, I wouldn't have done this mod on a very high-powered GPU or on GPUs that are known to have their memory modules heat up substantially. Even so, I took a gamble with this, and it paid off quite well actually, and I'm quite happy with the end results. Unfortunately, the closest thing that I could find on AliExpress was 15 US dollars, which still isn't that bad, but it's not 2 US dollars. But if you're looking to replace your GPU cooler on an old graphics card, then it could very well still be an option for you. Anyway, that is it for this video. If you liked it, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon and leave any comments or suggestions on this video or on my Twitter or Facebook. This is Yang, the tech rodent and two US dollars. Guys, I think I'm still in shock and awe, awe about that, you know. That's like a price of a bowl of noodles and a drink here. Yeah, wow. I'll see you guys around.